Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about the up-and-coming Ubuntu 23.04. This is Lunar Lobster. It's currently in beta. It should be releasing here in about a week or so. In this video, what we're going to do is actually go over the distribution, talk about some of the new features, additions, and just kind of highlight the system, talk about some pros and cons, good old stuff like that. Now, there are quite a few changes, and most of it has to do with uh, the new version of GNOME, or GNOME on the thing, GNOME 44, which we did check out in a previous video, or the previous video, going over some of the new additions. I have this installed on hardware, so in this case, I'm actually going to be able to kind of show you better some of the uh, actual features, such as right here. We have Bluetooth toggles, and we can disconnect and reconnect, go to our Bluetooth settings here. That is just one example. Now, the main change that is uh, Ubuntu specific anyways is the new installer. This is another thing I have covered in the past, trying to get an early look at the project before it was even available, but now it's actually available and it works very well. If you missed those videos, the new Ubuntu installer is written in Flutter, which is kind of a Google code per se. Ultimately, it looks very good, it's very functional. There isn't very many features added, everything that was there is there, there are some improvements, such as when you want to do manual partitioning, it should perform a little bit better, but going through the install is basically going to be the exact same process when it comes to picking your time zones, picking the actual device you want to install Ubuntu onto, and when you do get the installer up and running, you have that nice little kind of slideshow that you could cycle through. There's the button to open up the terminal so you can see specifically what it is doing to your system. Overall, it seems to be a pretty good time, and I have absolutely nothing negative to say in that respect. I mean, the installation was probably as good of a time as it is to install Ubuntu on a uh, instance of Linode. Linode sponsors videos on this channel all the time and that is because they are awesome. I use them every single day. To fire up your very own instance you just go to their dashboard, create new, you can pick between a wide variety of Linux distributions or a bunch of their one-click installers. I actually have a couple different videos up on the node showing you how to get things running, such as your very own uh, Discourse server, setting up Kali Linux in the cloud, and a whole lot more. So not only am I going to link to a $100 60-day credit down below, but I'll also link to some of those videos that I did for the Linode YouTube channel if you are interested. Now, this would not be a Ubuntu video if I did not complain about Snap Packages. And the first thing isn't going to be a complaint. They actually improved the actual startup time or the application launch time with Firefox you saw that it was uh didn't take five to ten seconds like it used to previously which that is good that's one of the primary cons of snap packages there are more cons definitely but that is a subtle improvement and don't you worry they are starting to replace even more applications other than Firefox with snap packages you probably know if you try to sudo apt install Firefox through the terminal here it's going to kind of force the snap package upon you, and you have to do extra work to kind of get around that if you want to install the uh, PPA or from a PPA. Next on the chopping block when it comes to forcing you to use snap packages is the good old Telegram client. So if we do a sudo apt install, what is it here, uh, Telegram desktop, type in our password. You can see the uh, Telegram desktop package has been removed from those repositories telling us to install the snap package instead. Like Firefox, this was actually a request from Telegram to do. So at least when it comes to Ubuntu, the snap package is the new official way if you want the Telegram desktop client. Trying to stick with some Ubuntu specific things before we jump into all the changes that um, are with GNOME, which all the articles and everything kind of points to new Ubuntu features, which I do think is a little silly, is the fact that the uh, Cinnamon edition of Ubuntu is now not just a community spin, it is a official, better word would be spin, it's an official spin of Ubuntu. Why you wouldn't just use Linux Mint, I do not know, but it is there, available, and you can install it and use it if you would like to. New wallpapers, some wonderful artwork has been added. If I go over here, uh, not display settings, if I go to appearance, you can see some of the new fresh additions, some good old lobster theme type goodness there. Personally, I think this one is a, a pretty cool addition, but that is just something to point out. Now, while I'm in settings, I'm going to kind of shift gears to some of the GNOME 44 updates. Uh, like I said, you may have seen these in the previous videos, but we have some new animations for scroll directions. There's been some stuff added into the accessibility options. And a couple more things. The main prominent thing that I find is actually very useful 
like we mentioned in the beginning of the video, is the Bluetooth toggles right here. For example, if I wanted to disconnect my keyboard, I could. So now I wouldn't be able to use my keyboard, but I'm just gonna simply reconnect, we're good to go. In addition, the Nautilus File Manager has gotten a little bit better. In addition to some more views, which we should have expandable lists, so I think I might have to turn that on. Let's go into Preferences. Um, oh, duh, it's, a, it's the second option there. Enable that, and now we can use a nice little drop down to see kind of what is going on on our system. A really nice, quick, efficient way to kind of browse through our file structures. If you're interested in some more detailed information of some of the full changes when it comes to GNOME 44, I will definitely leave some uh, information and link to that other video down below. But in addition to all that, of course, we have some standard uh, version updates and whatnot. Uh, do we have NeoFetch? The amount I've installed NeoFetch on camera is kind of silly. NeoFetch! You can see here we are running the 6.2 kernel. It is in fact GNOME 44. And just if you're interested, you can see some of the specifications of the uh, computer that I happen to be running this on. And of course, some of the applications that we get with GNOME have been updated. Firefox, I believe, is on version 111 now. Watch, if I bring in OMG Ubuntu, we could see some of the changes in that regard. We have some uh, Minor improvements, updated PDF JS. So, so really not much. <laughs> but speaking of awesome Linux news sources, if you ever happen to go to techcut.tv, we actually have a newsletter that uh, launches weekly if you're interested. So this is the last one that recently released, for example. Just a couple quick little bits on some Linux news, including some stuff on Cosmic TE, which I'm really looking forward to. But with that aside, we've also had updates with uh, Thunderbird, which I do plan on trying to use and switch to. We have some uh, LibreOffice updates as well, some good stuff there. Overall, just kind of ignoring some of my general disagreements with Ubuntu, this does seem to be a moderately solid release, as even on this beta version, I haven't have seemed to run into too many significant issues. And I mean, the uh, the default wallpaper is good, and that is definitely always the most important thing. <laughs> Ubuntu is cool and all, but the reason why I think, or why I like Ubuntu updates, is because following a update to Ubuntu comes a bunch of updates to various Ubuntu-based projects, which those projects often find these updates good times to introduce new features and improvements to their projects, thus why I get really excited when we have a update to Ubuntu. And really, that's all I got for you. I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. 